Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to explain why is 1 radian equals 180. We've used this conversion factor in the previous videos and in the previous lesson that we did, but how did we how did how did they come up to be equal to each other? So we're going to explain it today. First, we have a, a circle here. There's the center of the circle. Suppose I'm going to drop a line here from the center to the side of the circle. I will call this as radius and I will use letter R for it. Now, if this R here is, let's say this is 10 centimeters, I am going to measure the arc 10 centimeters. So let's say this is 10 centimeters also. So it's another 10 centimeters right there. And so I can then label this as another R since this is 10 centimeters and this is 10 centimeters. Now, if I drop another line over here, line segment over there, and I call this as another R, which is radius, this value right here in the middle, this angle right here is actually one radian. So that's how we got the concept of one radian. So the, perp the reason why, it's probably one of the reasons why this is called radian, because it's surrounded around by radius. Now the question is, how many radians are there around a circle so that's what we're gonna uh, that's what we're gonna find out here so i'm gonna write blank radians in one full turn so let's figure that out so how many radians are there in one full turn so i actually uh, cut a triangle or not really a triangle but this piece right here that corresponds to one radian now we're gonna move this around and so we can figure out how many radians there are around um, a circle so that's another radian right there this is another radian right here this is another radian right here This is another radian right here. And this is another radian right here. And so we have one radian. This is another radian. This is another radian. This is another radian. This is another radian. Now there's a small space right here. This extra part here is actually zero point 28. So if I add one radian, two, three, four, five, six, so one radian, one full turn is actually 6.28 radians. Now how did I get here? We The reason why we, uh, we have this uh, value, it's because one full turn is actually equal to 2 pi radian. Now, how did, how did we get that? So if we plug in the value for pi, which is three approximately 3.14, and that's how we get 6.28. So one full turn is actually 2 pi radian. That's the value right there. Now, we also know that one full turn is also 360 degrees. So this is another formula right here. So what does this mean? One full turn is two pi radian and one full turn is 360 degrees. So then we can go ahead and combine these two equations together again one full turn is 2 pi radian. And one full turn is 360 degrees. So how do we find, how did we come up with this right there? So divide both sides by 2. So divide both sides by 2. Divide this by 2. So cross that out. This means that pi radian equals 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees. 
and so this is a proof that pi radian is actually 180 degrees and that is showing up here that pi radian is 180 degrees if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe for more math videos see ya